Hey internet, welcome back to another video. If you're new here and you don't know me already, my name is Mark. I'm currently a senior studying linguistics and computer science at NYU, graduating in like a month. Well, done with my degree in a month, graduating in January. But anyway, welcome back to language learning log number 10. If you've been learning your own language, Spanish, Korean, whatever it might be, leave a comment. Let me know how it's going. Today I get to update you on how it's going for me. It's pretty slow. The premise of this learning log is to keep me accountable in some way such that I can, you know, give you updates every single month or at least every four weeks and keep track of my progress as a sense of documentation. This started out as a summer thing where every two weeks I would make one of these and that allowed for really fast iteration. And something that I neglected to consider was that I would release a video and iterate uh, upon my learning method uh, with the release of that video. So I kept that habit, but the problem is I'm now iterating every month. Not a great idea. So I should, so now uh, I'll talk about it in a minute, but going forward, I have a task to check in with my methodology and iterate every you know week or so. I say that because it took me too long to realize that the weekly blocks were not working, uh, but without uh, getting too deeply into that. We'll save that for the reflection section or whatever. I would like to reference this video here. I was frustrated with a lot of things uh, in that context of that video. It was not reading enough. Uh, and Japanese is something I've also been frustrated with because my progress has been a snail's crawl slow. And I'll discuss, you know, what I, th I gave it some thought this past week while writing the, the script for this video. And so I'll be discussing that in just a moment. For some reason, the following bullet point is in the introduction section. Kind of incredible how the human memory is a challenge of discipline and we can constantly learn new things. It's occurred, some things just occurred to me. Anyway, on to methodology. So starting off, uh, Wani, Connie, and Boonpro are working rather well. Now boonpro has been slow because it's more difficult to do in a sense. Um, even though the grammar is fascinating and is can be straightforward at some points. Yeah, Wani, Connie, and Boonpro, the, the notion of them being easy is simply because I can sit down and I know exactly what I'm doing. One thing I have noticed is that I will need to figure out how to write kanji. Uh, I can visualize them in the sense that like I can recognize them well, but all of a sudden it, it becomes a bit of a challenge as they get more and more complex. Here is the current status of Wanikani. Last month, I set aside the goal to hit level eight and I definitely could have made it. It has been a very crammed and very stressful couple of weeks uh, with classes and job search and whatever. I do have a 198 reviews uh, those have all piled up in the last day just because of how much I have been getting done and whatever. I had 80 lessons for like a week and a half. Wani Kani is still super very super very helpful uh, and Boon Pro in, in line with the fact you can sit down and just do something I will be talking a lot about in a couple of minutes. It took about five or so days to actually get to level seven. Um, in other words, when the lessons unlocked, I had them sitting there for like a week, but I can just I can get them fast. I have found the method. You just, once you get the radicals down, the kanji, then it's it's quick. I just didn't have the mental space in a way. So this is Boon Pro, my progress on Boon Pro. As you can see, not great. You know, this is no surprise or whatever. But one of my goals from last week, tying it in, was to finish the uh, essential grammar, basic grammar, basic grammar section of the textbook, and I did. And so I just unlocked the following Boon Pro lessons. I just have not been doing it consistently, as you can see by the graph, whatever, wherever that is. My new iteration is on Saturdays to spend like a solid, hour, hour and a half chunk of textbook work in Japanese. Uh, just maybe I'll start with an hour, see how it goes, because I don't want to try and cram too much into my head, but like really mindful learning. What I noted was in these small blocks, because they're flexible, in other words, they're an internal deadline, they could constantly get moved around for more important things. And with the lack of, I guess, mental commitment as of late for many things, Japanese included. And again, I think I should be speaking right now, but I can't. There's a notion that if you're learning guitar, it's better to practice for 15 minutes every day as opposed to uh, three hours every other six days or whatever. And I totally agree with this notion, but I realized that because of Wani Kani and Boon Pro, I am still practicing every day. I don't need to be doing the textbook every day. I think Textbook should be in-depth learning sessions, kind of like how a class is like one chapter a week. So now it's, you know, do an hour of grammar study, very, well, not grammar study, but very specifically textbook study and throughout the week do Wani Kani and Boon Pro. And that's the big iteration thing that I wanted to mention here. Having the sessions throughout the week was just a lot of pressure, I think. And <laughs> if I'm losing my connection and motivation to learning Japanese, I don't think it's, I don't think I actually am. It's just very busy week, month, in fact, mentally. The summer was nice because I could really prioritize Japanese and I'm looking forward to prioritizing it again in December while I'm on a break. I haven't looked extensively at papers. There was a cool paper I found about 
left node raising in Japanese. I'm not gonna bother trying to explain it. While I could read it, I don't know it well enough to try and explain it. Some of the linguistic stuff is still fascinating. It's just like, it can be very convoluted. So I don't know, I think that's cool. If you notice a sentence in Jap, if you're learning a language, I should say, if you notice a sentence that's weird, it can be worth looking it up because in linguistic academia, people literally look at specific sentences and specific phenomena. All in all, I, I genuinely should be able to speak right now. I should be able to come up with generic sentences and have a very basic conversation, but I can't. I have been busy and I should have attempted this one big block thing earlier, which is the notion I was saying about how I should not be iterating every month, but still every week or so. But I'm really hoping it'll work out for the remaining months in my last semester. If I can apply my vocab and such to learn how I think in speaking, personally, I think production is very, 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 very important. But if I can't use the vocab in Wani Kani, if I don't know how to take a verb and properly conjugate it, there's no point. The Wani Kani is gonna fade because if you don't use a skill, you are going to forget it. Can't, if, you, if I know a bunch of vocab, but then I never use it in language, I'm gonna forget it. Because the end goal here is, you know, in 11 or 12 more months, Wani Kani will be complete and I'll be done with it. And I don't, you know, maybe I'll check back in every once in a blue moon, but I will remember the vocab because I will be speaking Japanese, hopefully often enough, but that's a problem for later. <coughs> now, because this is the methodology section, I just want, <coughs> how do I not know how to drink water? <coughs> <coughs> Notes are just unhelpful to me. <coughs> Fall of 2020, I took five classes and I wrote notes, handwritten on line paper. And at the end of every single day, I typed them up, Mark, throw a notion thing here. And it didn't help me. Sure, I paid attention, but it didn't help me. So I told myself I would never have to take class notes again. Here we are. Sometimes I still jot things down. But anyway, that's my method. That's what works for me, whatever. <clears throat> Don't use this as an excuse to not take notes. Long story short, I had some notes for the essential grammar section or whatever, but I just stopped because I was writing down things and it was limiting my knowledge. And I figure the book itself is short enough that I can just constantly reference it. And so using the book and doing mindful boon pro, for example, if I look at something, I'm like, what is this grammar rule saying? I just find it in the book. My notes are not gonna be more helpful. Sure, writing things down helps memorize them, but we're not going for rote memorization here. We're going for an innate understanding of grammar. To wrap up, that's been my methodology. This daily Wani Kani boon pro, very automated thing. Here you go, do this. We're gonna come back to this in a minute. Um, and then the grammar guide as well. And of course I've been listening to music. <clears throat> One of my goals was to read Haiku. Uh, which I have and have not been doing. So I definitely started it. I got it like a few pages in and it took me about 30 minutes, as you can see by this little doggy ear or whatever. But it's, it's really cool to kind of see the kanji that I recognize in motion. The grammar rules are not there yet, but they will get there. Next month is December and I really want to finish the essentials grammar section. I don't know if I will because I would rather do half of it and get really good at it as opposed to do the whole thing and be really bad at it, which, you know, I can see reasons for either one. Yeah, so I've been reading music, of course. Oh, I've been trying to think in Japanese. So if I'm having an internal dialogue with myself, I'll be like, okay, how can I, you know, how can I say this otherwise? And that's how I learned that I can't speak. In watching anime, I've been hearing utterances or sentences and I'll be like, I know all of that. I can actually break every part down. The Elric brothers and Full Metal Alchemist, yes, it's 2021 and I haven't seen it yet. Like Kyodai, it's like, oh, brothers. And then uh, over time you hear these words over and over again and you can finally put them into a context. And as you take these abstract memorization things and put them into a context, which to me is the, the science or the methodology behind memory mnemonics, when you put things into a context, they become usable. And when they become usable, you don't forget them. So, okay, anyway. Reflection section. Quick note on the whiteboard. I did this for my devlogs ages ago. Some dreams have to die for new ones to come alive. I leave you with that food for thought. But the notes on the notion board, this is the section of the learning log where I look at the things I've written down as the last month has evolved. Okay, I have a reference to Outer Wilds, the game I played. I don't, know, I don't know what I meant though. Putting in conscious effort to let the easy work come later. Active learning turns into passive reinforcement. Don't know what the context of this one was, but it really ties into the notion of putting in conscious effort for textbook study and then, you know, uh, hearing music, watching anime, uh, passively reinforcing these, these concepts. It's kind of like active income and passive income where you work really hard to make money and then your passive income is like the effect of that hard work. Some screenshots from October 15th uh, when I went to geocaching. So the first one, and I'll throw them up here, is of a song. Uh, the first, so I recognize the kanji in this. And so the first one is hit. The second one is above. The third one is flower. And the last one is fire. And fire flower? 
Hanabi is uh, firework, and I recognize all the kanji in this. I don't know what hit above flower fire means, and maybe it's a vocab word where it doesn't mean anything remotely to that. <laughs> Next up is a picture of geocaching. On the bottom, there is the the wo particle, which is pronounced o, and then center. So, and then the ni particle, which is like a directional particle. So it's like in the center and that means to center the like if you click it it puts you in the center of the map um so i imagine it's like your avatar or cursor as the object of being centered a tv show someone's name is ishikawa and then i saw the kanji on like a uniform or whatever and i was like oh my god stone and river like whoa ishikawa and that's the vocab reading for both of them boon pro reviews are regular <laughs> hearing i once once i've been learning about these particles more and like what they're paired with uh, you know, transitive and transitive verbs and stuff. <clears throat> uh, it's it's easier to hear them. So segmentation is actually becoming easy, dare I say. It's one thing for a language not to sound like total mumbo jumbo, but it's another thing to be like, oh, I just caught a particle. The thing they said must have related to this part of the subtitles or whatever. And I'm also at the point where like, sometimes I think, hmm, I don't know if the subtitles like accurately portrayed that utterance. Something I found out about Boon Pro that is very cool is that you can incorporate it with Wanikani. I didn't realize this. Maybe I mentioned this in the last learning log, but I'm still flabbergasted. And so it'll show you the kanji that you've been learning and like not show you the pronunciation of it because you should know it. Thoughts on production and how having to verbalize these things sort of requires an internalization of them. Yeah, I've been looking into this super category of politeness. So in French, tu vu, in Japanese, san versus chan versus sama. Uh, and if there's a way, you know, tu vu is kind of internalized to me. I don't have to say if person is above me, use vu, if friend, use to. So internalizing these is probably, as an adult, a matter of just implicitly memorizing things, doing it so much that it becomes habit. Yeah, so October 18th is when I started level six. Uh, and again, I definitely could be on, I could be halfway through eight now. I just, when there were 90 lessons and like 200 reviews, I was like, all right, I'm gonna knock out the reviews first. Helpful to identify what I was going to do in my active session as opposed to deciding to, during, to do during it. Yeah, so I realized that when I was sitting down to do textbook stuff, it's much easier, like, or if I had something in my calendar, it's much easier to say, okay, do the noun related particles in this hour block or half hour block. Don't just sit down to do Japanese and decide it at the point. Make these decisions ahead of time because the less decisions you have to make some notion of failing to understand for production, so I need to start writing sentences. Right, this is what I realized with the book. If I can't speak right now, then don't. Because <laughs> I'm someone who speaks very fast. That's one of the biggest things I get on these videos, is slow down. And so I tried to be more concise and enunciate more. But as a result, if I can't speak fast or read fast, it just frustrates me. And so I think writing will be my, my outlet for production. Um, I have a bunch of lined paper here and I also printed out frick i forget what it's called but the up and down paper <laughs> the up and down paper genko shoe i think it's gen, gen, genko shoe it's funny hearing all these words now because you can actually understand like where they come from it becomes you know boon pro it's not boon pro it's writing pro it's it's a it's a pun because i know that the first one is writing how with how fast i can read in english the pace of japanese is jarring in video games I will zoom through dialogue uh, because I can read very fast and you don't have to internalize a lot of knowledge. It is, you know, starting up Pokemon Let's Go Eevee in Japanese is I have to sit there for five minutes on one dialogue box and it's like, oh, what I could usually be done in like a half a second. Um, probably a little exaggeration there, but yeah. So yeah, something to try working on is X time on Saturdays. I already talked about that. So a long block and then reinforcing throughout the week, long block, reinforce, so on and so forth. Maybe take a break here and there. Yeah, watching, so lastly, watching an episode of anime with no subtitles and I just felt a lot less clueless. It's been like two weeks since I did this. This was yesterday, I watched one and I was like, oh my God, I'm watching uh, SAO again without subtitles because I remember the story pretty well, but I can't quite tell what's going on, but I'm getting better at growing familiar with the language and hearing things that I do not understand. In other words, watashi mo is me as well. Uh, and various numbers, so hearing, you know, Jugoku or something. Um, Jugoku, that's not right. I just combined five and six, good job. Uh, and so I'm thinking of maybe trying to watch a short show without subtitles, so an anime without subtitles, and then going back and rewatching with subtitles to see what I picked up, what I got out of it. Uh, this is not a new idea. <laughs> this is something I've been meaning to try, but yeah. And the lastly in the reflection section, I had this epiphany about kanji. <laughs> So I have a video idea of talking about the, the beauty of Japanese's phonetic system and it, it ends with a joke of like, okay, why the hell are we using kanji then? I know that I've already tried explaining this to someone and I know it's the stupidest thing. 
But if you go onto your phone and you look for the emoji keyboard, which by the way is electronic letter, like emoji is letter, so emoji, email. If you go on there and you go onto your emoji keyboard and you type in something like the word B, a B shows up. If like a bzz B, a bumblebee. If you type in the word bumble, you get a B, the same exact B emoji. Now emojis are significantly less arbitrary than kanji. However, an emoji has one image and multiple sounds associated with it. Do you see where I'm going with this? <laughs> I just had this weird epiphany that kanji are effectively arbitrary emojis. So are words, you know, you look at the word hello, it's not like you, you see it enough. It's not like you see H-G-L-L-O, you see hello, that was a word and you just read it, you internalize it. Uh, <laughs> It's just, a, it's a stupid epiphany, but I, <laughs> I, I was, I blew my own mind. I was coming back from the bathroom and I was like, wait a second. Emojis are just kanji, but not arbitrary. Goals, wrapping this up with goals. Given these larger time blocks, I need to get through the basic grammar section of this textbook. It's more or less not an option. So if I go ahead and look here. Special expressions gets into causative and passive verbs. Dare I say that's exciting. So page 75 to 182. I'm not going to set a goal for myself to finish this chapter. I am, however, going to set a goal to make significant headway such that I can speak or at least, you know, actually use more. So motion verbs, new particles, whatever. Just significant headway because I just don't feel like I made any with, with the basic grammar section. <sighs> my first goal will be getting my commitment back on track and setting small milestones. So what I have done, um, future Mark, go ahead and just grab a quick screenshot from Todoist. Oh, so if I go into my lifestyle video, here's here's just the column. Small learning log, tech and clip. So I will have a section of the learning log where I'll just throw in like a 30 second clip of here's what worked, here's what's not working, or here's what's working and I'm gonna keep doing it. You know, maybe this week hasn't been enough to to say anything strong. And then I also, in Wani Kani, there are sample sentences. And if you press the J key after you get something right or wrong, it'll play the audio. So I want to actually make use of that because I need to get used to the sound. Um, I, I want to spend a focused couple of weeks learning the phonology of Japanese so that I can actually pronounce properly. It's not, uh, you know, Watashi Mo, Watashi Wa, it's uh, Watashi Mo, Watashi Wa. There's, there's, a, there's a difference. I can't, I'm not great at articulating that difference, but the R's are all right. In a sense, I wish I could do a sprint like I did in the summer. So maybe I'll set aside huge works blocks in Thanksgiving. Uh, so treat this Thanksgiving break as like a, I, I, I'm probably gonna get ahead on a lot of my schoolwork. Just gonna wrap things up 90% over Thanksgiving. That's my goal at least and burn myself out over like two or three days. So I can, you know, take a couple of days to do nothing. As a holistic reflection on my Japanese lately, uh, I have been doing about 10% of the work I should be doing and about 2% of the work I am expecting of myself. So do with that what you will. But Japanese as a priority is a commitment that I want to be here and it is being treated as though it is here. He puts his hand in front of the light as if it's a good choice. You know, I can say as much as I can, I want to about picking things back up, but I know Saturdays don't have much going on. I put in a long learning block and it's just nice not having to stress about each day having to do something. Um, it's just, it's one here. And then reviews I know I will inevitably do. So that is it for Japanese uh, learning log number 10. I had originally thought of signing up. I wanted to sign up for the JLPT N5, which was on December 5th, but it filled up too quickly. And I mean, obviously I'm not on track to do that. However, I still think it's, it's a good metric to hit. So I think by the end of 2021, I want to be done with the N5 stuff on Boon Pro, according to Boon Pro, and be able to go through the workbook. It's, it's up there somewhere. Um, I also forgot about the short stories book that I have. IQ is just more fun, I guess, but uh, this has started to tie in with this larger uh, issue of not reading. So I'm not going to hold myself to any reading standards, but in 2022, I'd love to be able to read IQ, read the SAO visual novels I got because I want to get, yeah, I just, uh, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to wrap it up. No need to go on any longer. I'd love to hear any progress you've made in the comments below. Uh, what, you know, what are tactics that have been working for you? I might jump into Duolingo for just experimentation. I have some ideas for various things, but yeah. Uh, I mean, if I had to sum up my productivity in one sentence, it would be the fact that I made a typing video off the cuff on like Sunday or Monday, and I haven't even opened Premiere to start editing it. It's been a lot. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, don't forget to stay awesome. I will see you in December.